One person watching on YouTube, hello Mary. Let me know in the comments um, when you pop on if you can hear me okay. Um, I don't know if I have my audio set up correctly. Let me know if you are not hearing something. Let's see, I'll try this again. microphone on my screen. Hi Melinda, are you able to hear me? Um, and this microphone is not lighting up. Let me see if I can now. Is this it? Trying to see if when I talk, it's picking up on my phone. I can barely hear you. Okay. Um, let's try. Oh, here we go. Can you guys hear me better now? Oh, it looks like I can see my line popping up. So now I feel a little bit better that you guys can probably hear me. Huh, <sighs> gotta love technology, oh my goodness. And today is a bad day for it. I have um, a bacterial infection in my throat. And so um, <laughs> I it hurts to talk, friends. I'm really glad that you made it here. I have a really simple card that I'm sharing with you, but listen, simple doesn't have to mean that the card looks um, any lower caliber than any other cards that you make. Today, I've got a very simple card to share with you, but it is gorgeous. It's stunning. It's a double-sided card. You are going to love it. Um, I got my notes here, so I remember my um, measurements, and what's really funny is um, I'm like, why did I even write the darn measurements down? Because it's really that simple. So I've got some fabulous prizes. As you hop on, make sure you say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Everyone loves to interact with each other here. It's so great for everyone to see where everybody is watching from. And um, prizes are awesome and fabulous and amazing. And you get the best prize when you share my video. So if you could just take a minute and go right um, under this video and click that share button, post it to your Facebook page. And when you're done, comment in here shared so that I know you're done. That um, helps enter you or that enters you into my drawing for prizes. Um, I'm giving away two prizes. I also every week give away um, one of the cards that I made from the prior weeks. And this is what we made last week. Remember we did a stamp a stack. In like 20 minutes, we made eight cards. And um, here, I'll turn off this light so it's not like in your face. Isn't that beautiful? That's what we made last week. That was some simple stamping. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm giving away this card for my likes and comments. And I'm going to do prizes at the beginning today. Um, the winner of this beautiful card for likes, comments is Contessa Klish. Contessa, I do not have your address. You're the winner. So um, if you could send me a private message with your info, 
Um, I will get this in the mail to you. You have two weeks to claim your prizes, guys. So um, after two weeks, they go back into the prize bucket. Uh, and I think I forgot to mention that last time. So that's why I want to bring that up today. Um, I see we've got more people watching. Welcome. Come on in. Say hello when you get here. Make sure you take a minute to share that video. I'm about to give away my prize for sharing last week. Thank you to everyone who shares, by the way. Um, it totally makes my day when you share. I love to be your creative coach. Today for shares, I'm giving away a stamp pad. This is the gray granite. Ooh, it's hard to see in the light. Gray granite stamp pad. Beautiful color from our neutrals selection. Um, absolutely love it. I know with the new springtime catalog coming out, when we think about some of the neutral colors that we like to pair those pinks, um, those reds for Valentine's Day, gray granite's gonna be perfect. And the winner of this one is Carol Yerkman. Congratulations, Carol. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I will get these prizes out in the mail to you guys this week, assuming Contessa reaches out with her um, address. I'm going to stop talking now because it hurts my throat, and we're going to do some stamping. What do you say? Okay. All right, today, move my notes, move my prizes, and move my water. Today, we're using the In the Pines bundle. Um, I love this bundle. If you remember, um, we used this in my man cards class uh, last, was it that last week already? To make um, some gorgeous gender neutral cards. This has a thinking of you sentiment and a season's greeting sentiment. We're making a Christmas card today, but we're doing a double sided card. We're also going to be using um, this gorgeous ribbon from the holiday catalog, glittered organdy ribbon. This stuff is black and see-through and it's got pretty glittery sparkles on it. Um, this was amazing for some Halloween projects and I love the challenge of using my products for any other occasion. So we're going to try and use this for a Christmas card today. I have my water painters here. We're going to be using those. I've got um, our water painters are three in a set um, and I'm using two of those. So Misty Moonlight is our color of choice today for the card base. And we are going to make our card base just by cutting this cardstock in half. So I'll line this up with my trimmer. Cut it in half. We're not doing any layers on this card. So this is the only cutting that we need to do, the only layer we're using for this card. Okay. I'm gonna fold this in half, but we aren't gonna leave it folded. I just want the guideline of um, where I'm gonna be doing my stamping. Okay, we are making a little bit of a snowy scene today. So I have um, one of my stamp blocks. You really can use any stamp block that you have in your collection. Um, and I'm also using some of my Whisper White um, ink. And I'm just putting a little little dot dab of it here on my block. This is a great option for watercoloring. Our Whisper White ink is pretty thick, um, but if you want to do watercoloring and don't want to use, a lot of times when we watercolor, we squeeze our pads into the top of our um, ink cartridges. Um, you can also just do a, a drop of the reinker onto a block. Okay, so I have my water painter here and the one I'm using is the broad tip brush. These come three in a set and um, it does not really matter which other one you use. I just grabbed another one. 
I'm gonna make sure I have water in this reservoir and when I push on this here, um, it sends the water down to the brush tip. So I'm just gonna make sure this is plenty wet and I'm gonna pick up some of this white from my block here. And we're gonna use this as a guide and we're gonna do some ink splatters. So I'm just splattering ink across this card. And I think that's good. I've got a little splotch here. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna grab a paper towel because I don't want that to spread everywhere. If you get, you know, big splotches on here, no worries. You can just kind of soak them up with the paper towel. I really had a lot <laughs> on my brush. And what I'm doing is going diagonal across the card here. Okay, and now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Grab some of our color. And do you see how we're just making speckles? Has anyone done this method before? Um, you can do this with any ink, but for me, I'm looking to either make like a starry scene or um, a snowy scene. I think the white um, looks really cool that way. There's some new people joining us, welcome. I'm just doing some splatters. trying to be a little bit careful not to get quite as much as I did in one big splotch on the other side. And I feel like that looks good. Now, when you're done, you can just clean your brush out by squeezing the water um, and then cleaning it off with a paper towel. Make you sure you have all that white out of there. Easy peasy. Okay. We are actually done with our water painters. And I'm just gonna wipe off my block. And then um, I, these are, I just wanna show you here for a minute. These are super easy to clean off. Hi, Patricia, your first time watching. Welcome. I'm so glad you could join us today. I hope you enjoy the project I'm making. This wipes off so easy, just with a baby wipe. You can run it under your kitchen sink and you're ready to go for your next project. Okay. When I think about what I want to do here, yep, this will work good. Okay. So we already had our um, card folded and ready to go. So I got a little bit of water on here, no problem. Now we're gonna do some stamping. I've got my Memento ink pad. Patricia, where are you from catching us for the first time? Um, okay. I have two stamps from the In the Pines Bundle Mountain here. The stamps I'm using are this large tree and this medium tree. I'm also gonna use the season's greeting sentiment, but first we're just gonna use these trees. Now these are photopolymer stamps and I wanna make sure I get a good image. So I'm gonna use my stamp and pierce mat here. 
ink just does not want to stick on the middle of that stamp. There we go. Okay. And I'm just stamping this big tree. And randomly here across the card. There's really no rhyme or reason to this other than I want to make sure I vary the heights of my um, trees. So the first big tree is done. And now I'm gonna come in and fill in with the smaller tree. Ah, from Oklahoma, welcome. And now I'm gonna kinda go and fill in some of these spots with the smaller, narrower tree. So really what I'm creating here is a forest below this night snowy sky. And then anywhere that you feel like needs a few more trees, you can just kind of fill in some tree tops. I like how that looks. So here's the outside of our card. And now we're going to flip it and do the same thing on the inside. Uh, I'm going to start in the center here this time. Ooh, oh, that was almost a disaster. Oh my gosh, how many times have you guys dropped an ink pad on your card? It is the worst when you do that, especially when your card is like done. Seriously, the worst. And I almost just did that. Okay, I've got my tree tops here. See, I got this big smudge of ink. I don't want that to get on my card. Uh, so how simple is this card so far, you guys? Are you loving it? I love simple stamping. Just stamps, ink, and paper. And a few tools. Filling in these spots with more trees. <laughs> so we're making a beautiful forest line. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't it just look like you're looking over the trees into a gorgeous night sky to, with some snowflakes falling? I love it. Sue says, I can do this. Sue, you can totally do this. Okay. Now, remember how I said we're doing a double-sided card? Well, we are. Look at how the stamping we just did. We've carried over this beautiful imagery on all sides of our card. And now we've got our sentiment. I chose Season's Greetings. Uh, listen, the reason I made this card is because it's so versatile. This would also make a very simple um, sympathy card. And let's be honest, sometimes when we need a sympathy card, we're not thinking about it ahead of time. We need to just make a card on the fly. This is a wonderful layout. You can use so many beautiful colors to do this. And this stamp set even contains the thinking of you sentiment that you could just pop on here for a sympathy card. If you don't have the In the Pines stamp set and, and you want it, you gotta have it the way I do. I'd love it if you shop with me. Um, you can go to countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com and use my host code here when you place your order. I so appreciate your business and your support. Okay, we're gonna stamp our sentiment I'm going to go just above the tree line here, like so. Season's greetings. 
this is simple but beautiful, right? Okay, now next, we need to add just that perfect little extra, and I love ribbon for that. So I'm taking the glittered organdy ribbon. Do not think that this was just for Halloween, you guys, because it was in the holiday catalog next to the Halloween stuff. This is going to make for a beautiful finishing touch on this Christmas card. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm running this right through the inside of my card, making sure that it's flat. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. So tie this here. Oops. Oh boy. <laughs> I just looked at my screen and the image looked really funny. Oh, good, it cleared up. Okay, tie this in a little knot here. And now all we have to do is uh, trim off our ends. There we go. And then you can just shift this. I like kind of where these, I'm gonna trim this one off just a little bit more. There we go. We're done. Isn't that beautiful and so, so simple. This is a stunning, elegant, simple Christmas card. You could easily send this and make this card for hundreds of people on your Christmas card list. And you would still be giving them the gift of a handmade card. And listen, we use Misty Moonlight. A black pen will write perfectly. You have lots of room to write your little note in here, um, your wish for a happy, healthy season, and you're done. Not a lot of layers to worry about postage in the mail. This is my kind of card. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. Again, remember to support my small business. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can shop at my link. Use my host code for November 2020. If you're watching the replay on my YouTube channel, please take a minute and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing from me. I post lots and lots of videos and inspiration for you. And make sure you join me right here next week, same time, same place for some simple stamping. We're going to make a slimline card next week. I'm really excited for that. If you haven't shared this video, please take a minute and do that so you can be entered to win the fabulous prize next week. This week I gave away an ink pad. What might I give away next week, huh? All right, have a great rest of your day, guys. I'm going to go and rest my voice. See you later. Bye.